Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be prototyping our dark themed meetings app that we created in the last video. If you missed out on that video, but you still want to continue, or you just misplaced your project files, a link will be down in the description and you will have everything that I have right here on my screen. So here's what we're going to be doing today. It's going to take the user from start to finish for creating a meeting, setting the title, the date, the time, description, setting a color, and inviting a team and just a person. So that's the interaction that we're going to be designing through the prototype tab. We're also going to have to design a few elements to make this function, so let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Before I begin the tutorial, I just want to let you guys know, as I go through this, I forgot to set date and time for this category name, so if you guys want to be more accurate since you are changing the date and time here, make sure you go ahead and put and time on there. I just have mine saying date. It doesn't really matter, but I apologize for any confusion. That is what it's supposed to say. So, First thing we need to do is I'm going to rename this artboard end and duplicate it. I'm going to drag this above this artboard that we just created. That way it's up and out of the way. So we're going to need several artboards. I think it's around 13. So that will be our final screen. We'll eventually rename that. Uh, for now, I'm going to name this new one 01. And we're going to have to strip this down to what it would be like if we had all of our input fields blank. So I'm going to change this to meeting name and then dot, dot, dot. And we'll drop this down to 70% opacity so it's not completely white. And then we can remove the X because we have nothing input. And then the date will be the default date. So let's say this is Thursday. And then that would be the 22nd. We'll also adjust the time. We'll just put it to 3 p.m. And I'll fix the spacing on our icon. For the description, I'm going to paste in add description dot dot dot. I'm going to drop that down to 70% opacity. And I'm also going to change that from an area text to a point text since it's only one line of text. And that's going to help us select everything below it, including the underline, and position that 15 pixels below. By default, I'm going to have the blue color selected. So I'm just going to drag over this outline, make sure it's centered, right click on our blue swatch, apply as border. Then I'm going to select the inner circle, right click on our swatch, apply as fill, and then we'll make sure that's checked. And then on the pink one, we'll just remove the fill. So that the blue is selected by default. And then for the invite, we'll just delete everything we have down below. So here is what our app would look like if we clicked add new meeting. So I'm going to duplicate this and we'll call this one 02. Inside the title, we need to rename this daily review or whatever you would like your meeting to be named. And then create the opacity at 100. Then I'm going to drag in my X icon and just reposition that. Make sure it's centered. Or another way to do this is you can go up to the end, select Command C or Control C, select the O2 artboard and Command V, and it'll position it exactly where it was, which is what I'm going to do here so everything stays consistent. All right, so now that we've input our title, we're going to go for the dates. So I'm going to Command D on this artboard to duplicate it. Name this one 03. And now we need to set the date. So I'm just going to select everything below it and Command G to group. And we'll just drag it out of the way for now. So what we're going to need is a calendar. So I'm going to turn on my layout grid. And this is a 70 padding on the top with 30 on each side and zero on the bottom, which makes this 315 wide. And that's just so we can align things on the side. I'm gonna grab my text tool and I'm just gonna type out the capital letter S and then I'm gonna make sure this is white. I'm gonna make sure that I center align this. This is very important, don't forget to do that. And then we're gonna make this 50% opacity. I'm gonna drag this 15 below this icon. And you can also group all these elements together so that you make sure everything is positioned nicely and then you can hit Command Shift G to ungroup them. So now that we've done that, I'm going to select repeat grid and we're basically going to make every day of the week out. So I'm just going to drag out for that. So we need seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to have to align the repeat grid right here. So I'm going to make sure that is touching just like that. And then we can adjust the margin in between these or the spacing to make sure this touches the margin on the side. 
After that, we're going to need six rows of this. So I'm going to drag down for that. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then make sure the spacing on these is 15. After you've done that, you can hit ungroup. Select everything but the first row and bump that to 70. This is going to be for our numbers. On the second row, I'm also going to remove everything but three. So these last three over here are going to be the start of the month. And then on the bottom row, I'm going to delete these three. So these four are going to be the end of the month. So I'm going to go ahead and input all of the data. So let's start with the days of the week. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. And then we can input the numbers the same way. And the last one is going to be 28 because there's 28 days in February. So on the 22nd, let me move my grid first. I'm going to make this 100% opacity because it's the current day. And I'm also going to put a circle behind it so it is selected. I'm going to make this 26 by 26. I'll apply the blue applies fill and then remove the border. I'm going to center that up with my text and then hit command shift left square bracket key to send it to the back. So we have February 22nd and here is the 22nd. Now I'm just going to redrag all the info back on the screen and this is going to be 40 pixels below the calendar. So from screen two, all we did was we select the date and then we open the calendar. Now for screen four, command D and then we'll name this four. We're going to select the 23rd. So to do that, I'm just going to drag the circle over behind the 23, change the 23 to 100% opacity and then the 22 back down to 70. Now that we've changed the day to 23, we need to change the date value. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this to Friday the 23rd. I'm going to select the artboard and press command D to duplicate it one more time. And this is going to be 05. So now we're going to be setting the time. So I'm just going to select the calendar and delete it. So now we're going to need to adjust the time value. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 00. zero. I'm going to set this to 15 size font. And this is going to be 80 pixels below the date. Then I'm going to center it horizontally to the artboard. And then I'm going to duplicate this and put 20 spacing. And this is going to say 3. And then I'll duplicate it one more time and this is going to be PM. To make sure that we keep consistent spacing since we're going to be duplicating this, the value on the right needs to be aligned to the left. That way the spacing in between will not be adjusted as this gets longer. So recheck 20 and the value on the left needs to be aligned to the right. So there we have our current time. So what we can do is scroll through and choose a value for the hour, then the minutes, and then AM or PM. Now I'm going to drag out a line that is going to go from one side of my artboard to the other. And this is going to be 15 pixels above our numbers that we just created. I'm going to set this to this gray black that we have, the lightest gray we have, which is 454D4E. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time and place it 15 pixels below our numbers that we just selected. Now I'm going to highlight these numbers and I'm going to hold Alt and drag them down. I'm going to go down 10 from the line that we just created. The value on this one is going to be 4. The minutes is going to be set to 05. And then we do not need the PM value. I'm going to set the opacity on this to 50%. Then we can duplicate these again and go up 10 from the top line. The value here is going to be 2 for the hour and 55 for the minutes. And then we need AM, also changing this to 50% opacity. Now I'm going to select 2 and 55, hold Alt and drag them. And I'm going to go 5 pixels up. The value is now going to be changed to 1 for the hour and 50 for the minutes. I'm going to adjust both of their opacities down to 10%. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom values. I'm going to hold Alt and drag them down 5 pixels. Set them to 10%. And we're going to have 5 for the hour and 10 for the minutes. So now we just created something where we can use our finger to swipe up and down to change the values of each of these to set a new time.
We have the description, the color, and invite still in a grouping, and this is going to be 40 pixels below these two bottom values. So from artboard four to five, we've expanded the time, and now we're going to change it, so Command D, and I'm gonna name this one 06. All we have to do on this screen is change this value, adjust this, and change these values. So the new timing is going to be 330. We need to change the minutes above that to 25 and 20, and below it 35 and 40. Since we didn't change the PM or the hour, everything else can stay the same. Up at the top, we need to set this to 3, colon 30. And then we can redrag this over 10 pixels from that. So now we've set the new time, so we can hit Command D on this artboard and name this one 07. From artboard 6 to 7, we're going to select the time value to collapse this, so we're just going to delete everything we just created and then reposition this 40 from the bottom of this grouping. So I'm gonna group these values together. And then 40 spacing, and then Command Shift G to ungroup that. And then we can also ungroup all these since we're now gonna be editing them. So that's all we need for Artboard 7, so we can duplicate that now and change this to Artboard 8. So I'm gonna paste in my description. I'm gonna do so by changing this to a text area. We can double click our artboard and turn on our layout grid. Then I can drag the text area over and then I'll just drag it down a bit. I'm going to select everything below the add description and drag it down out of the way. Turn off my layout grid and then paste in my new text. I'm going to adjust this so that it is touching the bottom. And then we can make this 100% opacity and then position that 15 below. We can now create the ninth artboard, name it 09. From here, we're going to be changing the color to pink, so I'm going to drag the circle back over. Right-click on our pink swatch, apply as border. Select the inner circle, apply the fill, and select the blue circle and uncheck the fill. That's all we need for the ninth artboard, so duplicate that to the tenth. On the tenth artboard, we're going to be editing this text. I'm just going to put in design TE. And then I'm going to drag out a line. I set this to white. I'm going to make sure it's centered with the text and then go over one pixel. We can also change this to 100% opacity. So you get the idea. We're basically typing in and it's giving us a suggestion. So we don't have to recreate it. I'm going to go over to our end artboard and select this grouping, Command C. Select the 10th artboard and Command V. It will paste it in the correct position, touching the left margin and below the underline. For the next artboard, artboard 11, we are going to confirm the selection. So this text needs to be changed back to search friends and groups, and I'll change the opacity back down to 70%. We can get rid of this underline. Then on the 12th artboard, so 12, we're going to be searching for a person in particular, so I'm gonna change the text to Nick. I'm gonna go over and grab the line that we created. Command C on that. Select my 12th artboard and Command V. And then we'll just position this one pixel over. Also, we need to change Nick to 100% opacity. We can delete the design team. I'm going to go back to my final artboard and select Nick's face. Command C on that. Go to this artboard and Command V. And then we'll just position that over to the left margin. Out beside Nick's face, we're going to need his name. So I'm going to type out his name. I'm going to align the text to the left and then put 10 spacing in between that and its icon. And now for the 13th artboard, I'm going to Command D and just type in 13. I'll just select this grouping and the face, Command C. I'm going to go over here and delete Nick and his profile icon. Select the artboard and Command V to paste them in. We can delete this line and then paste in the search friends and groups text again and then change it to 70% opacity. And now we have every artboard ready to prototype so we can go through each step 
of selecting all the information to come to the final 13th artboard. So we're actually not even going to use this end artboard. We just sampled from it. Uh, so we're going to end on artboard 13. And then when we select the check, we're going to go all the way back to artboard 1. Now I'm going to switch from the design tab to the prototype tab. First thing we're going to be selecting is the meeting name. So I'm going to select that text and drag over to our second artboard. I'm going to be using dissolve at 0.2 seconds with an ease out. On artboard 2, I'm going to select the Thursday text and its icon. Hit command G to group them. And then I'll drag this over to our third artboard. Same thing, dissolve, ease out, point two. We're going to be using this for every single transition. From artboard three to four, we're going to be selecting the 23rd. So I'm going to select that number and drag over. Now we're going to be opening the time adjustment. So we're going to grab 3 p.m. and the clock icon, command G on them, and drag over to the fifth artboard. Then we're going to be changing the time value. So I'm going to grab PM, double zero, and three, and Command G on those, and then drag over to the sixth artboard. Then we're going to collapse the time. So I'm going to select the time up here and its icon, Command G on that, and drag over to the seventh artboard. Then we're going to set the description. So I'll grab the description text and drag over to the eighth artboard. Then the color. So I'm going to select the pink and drag over to our board nine. Then we're going to be adjusting the text for search friends and groups. So I'll grab that to our board 10. Then we'll grab this grouping of design team. If you don't already have that grouped, just select everything and group it. And then I'll drag over to 11. Then we're going to select this text one more time. So I'm going to go over to the 12th artboard. Then I'm going to select the Nick and the profile icon and command G on those. Since we're going to be selecting that to confirm it and drag that to the 13th artboard. Next on the 13th and final artboard, I'm going to select the check mark icon and then hold shift and select its background. Command G. I'm going to zoom out a ways and then drag this all the way back over to artboard one. And now we have everything prototyped up. So that is how to use the prototype tab to go through an entire user interaction for a dark themed meetings application. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more UI related content, and as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.